Howdy everyone, Runt9 here, and welcome back to Runt9 Plays Teamfight Manager. We're picking up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, still having a lot of fun with the game. We're here in the back half of the uh, the season. This is uh, what split? It's May, so this is going to be the, the summer split, I guess. And let's see if we can't finish things off strong. Currently in the ranking list, we are 6-1, and one, one game ahead of Team ME, and uh, plus 8 kill, uh, or... I thought that was a kill-death ratio. Is that not what that is? I don't actually know what that number is now that I think about it. Uh, but anyway, so we're up against Sandsox Gaming. So things have changed around a little bit with the, uh, the in-game patch, not not the game patch. So Sandsox Gaming, they've been liking Ninja and Fighter. Uh, Fighter did get nerfed. Crepo, let's go. Swordsman, Ninja... Swordsman is probably going to be first pick, first ban. Fighter. They're probably going to lean a little more heavily on Monk, and we've got to be concerned about Archer, although... <laughs> maybe we'll let them have Archer. They haven't won with it yet, so what do you think... Uh, why would you think they would start winning now? So, probably want to ban... On blue side, who do we want to ban? Monk got nerfed a little bit. Looks like a good window for ninja plays. It could be a good window for ninja plays. Um, oh, you know what? Smoothie is pogging up right now. I think this is an opportunity for uh, XBOCT to get in here. doinby has got some slightly better stats, but X, uh, XBOCT does not have an attentive. And I, I need to rename this guy, so someone please redeem channel points for renaming somebody. You're going to get yeeted at some point, but... Um, I don't want... I, I could call him Xboxed. I, or Xboxed, I guess, is close enough. So, we're on red team. What, what are we going to ban here? None of their stuff really scares me too much, and we've got some better stats. I think that we could probably just ban Monk here. They banned Swordsman, so... I'm actually going to ban Ninja because we're likely going to end up in a situation where we're playing some ranged here. I'm actually going to take Archer away from them. They're probably going to go for Knight. Fighter Sniper. Okay. Sniper is really good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to go for Knight on this one. Because Knight Archer does tend to be a decent combination. Uh, Smoothie doesn't have any proficiency on Knight, though. I feel like this is a little bit better. Sniper is absolutely awful in 2v2, but gets a lot better when you can have two front lines tanking for her. Because her damage uh, does get pretty incredible. Xbox definitely going hard in the paint, though. Uh, able to tank a lot of damage there. But yeah, Daydream spawns and just basically one-shot Smoothie from full HP. We should have this one in the bag. We're doing well so far. I mean, you can see Crep... Oh, what a beautiful ult from Smoothie there with the easy double kill. Daydream ulted just Xbox, which is probably the worst ult they could do short of just missing entirely. Archer versus... <laughs> Archer versus Sniper one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Archer wins. And Xbox is just going to sit here and tank all this damage. And Smoothie's going to get out of here. Oh, Smoothie, shoot! <laughs> I wanted to see Smoothie get that last kill 1v1. So Smoothie went 8-2-3 on Archer here. That, that was pretty good, not going to lie. Uh, Knight Archer seems to be a solid combination as it is right now. Um, let, let's go for uh, Let's trust our teammates and play aggressively. Let's do our best. Works for me. Sniper should usually win against an archer, but the stat gap was too big, I think. Well, so the thing is, well, I guess Smoothie is a bit better. We've got uh, that uh, little bit of attack boost right now. Um, sniper should win, but... I th No, Archer wasn't just buffed, now that I think about it. 
I feel like I want to bring Doin B in here. I just want to see what happens when we put these two together. They've got, you know, basically double or triple the total combined stats that Crepo and Daydream do. Um, I did just take out the person who has a red arrow, which I believe means that they are on fire. Why is that guy's name Xbox? I don't know, but I don't like the name. We're going to be first picking Swordsman here if they don't ban it. Honestly, you could have Fighter. The The Fighter defense nerf definitely hurt it a little bit. Um, probably banning Monk on this one, to be completely honest with you. They banned Knight, so we get to first pick Swordsman here. That definitely feels good. Um, they picked Sniper, so I'm just going to pick Ninja, and it should be like an easy GG here. Because nin uh, our Ninja should be able to just completely feast on Crepo's Sniper all day long. Uh, and with the fighter defense down, we should be in for what I hope will be an easy win. You know, let's not get overconfidence, since overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Crepo with the double kill, but, I mean, that that's why you want Ninja against Sniper, is if Sniper's alone, they're incredibly dead. And, I mean, this is actually where you want Doinby. Because killing in five seconds is actually... <laughs> oh my god! Crepo got absolutely deleted. Removed from the face of the planet. Yeah, Doinby can actually kill in five seconds, so the target changing ends up not mattering too much. Daydream had to go so hard to get that kill. Wait, no, Swordsman did get nerfed. Swordsman uh, had a massive HP nerf, that's right. It was minus 30 max HP. But either way, uh, two very easy victories. We took a 16-10 on that one. Doin B with the 9-5-6 game. You love to see something like that. That's a 15-5. That's a 3-1 KDA in this game. Solid ninja play. And that pushes our lead, uh, or continues pushing our lead forward. Next up, we're going to be against Dry... They have, I believe, the worst total player stats in the league. Tied with Sandsox, who is the one we just played. Um, they like Ninja, but they haven't won much with it. And they like Fighter. So if we ban Fighter, we should be alright. How's your sponsorship going? I haven't checked the sponsor in a while. Uh, so basically, we would have to more than double our current deaths in six games. I think we'll be all right on getting our sponsor, fortunately enough. So I, I feel like the strategy here is very simple. You take Swordsman or and you ban Fighter. Should be easy enough. So they are three and five right now. And uh, their, their overall stats are pretty low. They've got low attack, so honestly, like, I'm happy to let them have Ninja. Um, we'll put Smoothie back in there for Doinby. Smoothie's got a little bit higher morale right now. And so from a banning perspective, let's just ban Fighter. Like, Fighter did get nerfed, but I'm happy to let them ban that. And they banned Ninja, which actually works plenty fine for me. Um, they did go into Sniper immediately. So why not just go Swordsman Archer again and dare them to beat us? I actually think this is a tough matchup for us. If Ice Mage is able to lock down Smoothie at all, I, I don't think that Xbox is getting in there for too many kills. This might be a little on the rough side. Not gonna lie. We can actually move these around, and so we've got them both on their best comfort champions right now, though. And so from a stats perspective, um, Xbox has five times the attack of Ace, and Smoothie has more than double the attack stat of Ahasik. We should win if you look purely at player stats, but... I mean, this is what I was concerned about. And now, if we funnel in one by one, 
this is what's going to happen. And that's what we're doing. We're running it straight down mid. We cannot run it down mid against Ice Mage. You do not give Ice Mage 2v1s. It's a good ult, but it only got one. Howling Abyss? I mean, it's exactly that. We we pulled a good comeback, but... I, I Like I said, I don't think this is going to happen if we keep just going in 1v2. We... Yeah. And I mean, that's just the, the AI of this. Um, Ice Mage Sniper works pretty well if you're able to stagger your kills in such a way where they just spawn and run in, we had literally zero business winning that. It was 12-10 and we got three kills in the last like four seconds, three seconds. I will count my blessings. That was, uh, you did not like, literally everyone in chat is agreeing with this. We did not deserve that. That was complete luck. But uh, so far, Xbox has been pretty good on Archer. Call your team trash right now. If there's an option to say your opponents fell apart and you got lucky, I'm I'm telling them that. It, there is not. Um, honestly, yeah, your opponents suck so much, and that's the only reason you won. A coach shouldn't say such a thing. Well, you also shouldn't lose like that. You only won because you're lucky. If Dry's player stat was at least half of yours, it would have been a disaster. I wholly agreed. Absolutely agreed. Well, we'll bring uh, Doinby back in, and let's see if we can't get Doinby on Ninja again. I, I think that's actually not the worst thing in the world for someone with attentive, uh, inattentive. They banned Pyro. I could ban Ice Mage. Ice Mage doesn't scare me too much, though. I'm going to ban Knight. I'm not going to first pick Ninja. Hmm. Because if I first pick Ninja, there's still Fighter and Swordsman available. I'm going to take Fighter, let them have Swordsman. They went Sniper. There we go. That's what I wanted. Monk Sniper. Totally fine with me. Neither of them are on Comfort Champs. They've got plus one over here. I'm I'm alright with this. If Doin B can delete Ace, then the target switching does not matter. Doin B was able to get a kill in before an attentive triggered. Doin B somehow survived the first uh, round of Ace's attack. They've got some decent damage from Sniper, but that was a nice double kill. Right, right as the Sniper was dying, she sent out her grenade. And then Doinby just one shot with the teleport. I mean, look at that. Six, three, and two right now. We're not winning by much. Oh, Doinby. Don't just run it down mid, guys. Oh my god. This is why this is the main reason why I think the 2v2s just aren't particularly balanced. Is it ends up being so much more of just you get staggered spawns, and it just is purely about spawn killing. So we absolutely did not deserve to win that 2-0, but I will absolutely take it. Now Mad is still only one game behind us. They might be a problem in the playoffs if we keep playing like this. And, I mean, we're up against now Mad next, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, Swordsman is no longer 100% banned pick rate. Fighter is actually a little bit higher now. Ninja, I, I love this. Ninja is sitting at a 28.3% win rate with a 96.6 banned pick rate. Second most banned champion behind Knight. And that tells you that Knight isn't even that incredible. It's just more that Knight is the ruiner of strategies. <laughs> so, now Mad 
Five nine is not that great. They're only one defense total higher than dry. They like swordsmen. They really like swordsmen. Eighty three point three percent win rate. Two point four one KDA on Che. And you are basically brand new and have only played fighter and monk. So. I think we go back to first pick, first ban Swordsman, and then just play counter if we're uh, on red. Seems like a good chance for a Knight Pyro comp. I could see that. I mean, we could let them have Swordsman. Swordsman does only have 100 HP now, which gives us an opportunity to try to just get some high damage in there. So we're on blue side here. Maybe we give them Swordsman. I, I think I like that idea. I'm going to ban Knight on this one. Because I want to try a little bit more of an aggressive comp. So I'm going to first pick Ninja. It's a it's a bad idea to blind first pick an Assassin. But then I'm going to take Fighter, and so they're probably going to pick Monk. Okay. I would rather face Swordsman Monk than Swordsman Fighter. Um, Doin be on a good champion or Doin be on Ninja? We'll do that. I think we're going to lose here, but we've got some good damage. Doing B should not have lived through that. I, I will tell you that much. I, I think this is going to come down purely to stats. Yeah, it just it takes Doing B a little too long to kill things. There's the ninja ult though. Doing all right. Doing all right. We've got a seven four lead, and it's kind of hard to come back from three down. There's the uh, the monk ult with the big shield, and I mean they came back from three down, and I'm pretty sure Xbox is gonna die here. Oh, Doin B came in clutch with the kill. Che goes down. Doin B is gonna go down here, maybe. Yeah, Doin B went down. It's tied up, and now it's a two v one. Oh, Doin B came in. Oh no, they got us. Oh, they got us in overtime right at the end. That that was on me, though. I picked a, a bad pick ban phase. I got a little risky with it. I mean, they played it well, I guess. That that was purely pick ban phase. I think we're worse than them. I, I would disagree, but I, I know why you would think that. So, Swordsman is still good, even with the HP nerf. I don't know if it's necessarily 100% first pick, first ban worthy. But I think I want to try to get Knight Archer out here. Or Fighter Archer. Sniper, huh? Well, never mind. How about Doin B Ninja? And how about... Uh, you're going Knight Sniper? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, or sorry, fighter sniper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go knight ninja on this one. And basically, Doin B, your one goal in life is make sniper not allowed to play the game. Doin B got popped pretty good there. Xbox was able to survive in one v one fighter. Doin B is gonna die here, and so we're gonna be tied up. Uh, this is an easy kill for Doin B, just finishing off Sniper there. Easy kill, and pretty much a wasted ult from uh, from Che on that one. We are up 8-3, and now it's basically just bad manner spawn camping. 9-5 is, uh, it, it is possible to come back, but not when it's basically, if Doin B spawns, then Che dies. Ninja versus, or basically Assassin versus Sniper is just, it's 
a death knell for Sniper. Sniper has, I believe, actually zero defense stat and a fairly low HP number. Just happens to do a bunch of uh, good single target damage. Um, it's not over yet. Stay focused. We're going to game three. I'll carry us. I believe you. You, you can carry us from the bench. That's what you can do. So our blue side strategy last time didn't work out too terribly well. I feel like we should probably go for the first pick Swordsman on this one. Um, but I, I think I would like to get Archer out there. Give, give me a ninja ban here. They banned Fighter. I'm going to take Knight. They might go Monk's second pick. Pyro is on the table, and Pyro did get an attack buff. I don't know that I want Doinby on Knight, but I guess Doinby on a tank, the inattentive really doesn't matter. Let's give it a shot. Get x on uh, on a Comfort Champ here. Archer would have been fine, but I, I felt like... They didn't go to melee. It was a little bit risky. So we'll, we'll go with this, and I think that we probably lose here. Pyro does hurt, but I think it's not going to matter. Pyro's damage is very much incredible right now, but absolutely deleted by a sniper here. Kind of a bad ult. I would have preferred you save that. That, that was a solid sniper ult, I can't lie. It's going to be real close. Remember, this is game three, and if we lose this, we're going to be tied for first place in the rankings. We've got a 10-7 lead. 11-7 lead is looking good. We should have this in the bag. 12-8. And honestly, Doin B inattentive knight. That's actually a, a new strat. Pyro pick paid off after all. I think we would have been safer on Archer. But I, I do think the Pyro buffs have moved her up the food chain a little bit. All right, next round, L1. They are 6-9, nine. nice. Yankos loves to play Fighter, loves to play Ninja. Fighter has a much higher win rate for them, though. So wouldn't be against banning Fighter. Swordsman, Knight. So they would be looking for a, a Swordsman-Knight combination here. I'm not against letting them have that but only if we could run Knight Archer or Knight Pyro. So blue team, I, I don't feel like you, you... We don't have the ability to counter. We need to pick the more solid comp as blue, but on red, just counter. If they run two melee, give them a Pyro. If they run one melee, one ranged, we counter it with Knight Archer. Um, yeah, honestly, send it as it is. We're red team. Um... I think we don't ban Ninja, and we save Ninja as a potential counter pick here. So they kind of banned themselves out. Honestly, I'm going to ban Swordsman and see how they respond. First pick, Knight. Um, I mean, I feel like we have to take the only other melee here. And so we should be safe to play Ninja Monk here. Is this a great team comp? No, not really, because if the knight is able to taunt Doinby, we're going to be in for a rough time. Doinby was able to get a kill there. The problem is Doinby is not going to do a lot of damage to knight right now. It all comes down to just how many uh, kills can Doinby pile on on Yonkos here. And you can see the battle of the tanks here. Monk versus Knight. Oh, D finally goes down. 
I actually had a game last night. Um, funny enough, Pobelter was on my team. I uh, had Pobelter on Sniper, and I think he went 5-0-8. Oh, but inattentive can uh, pay off to nullify the taunt. So actually, I think we've seen it work where in, uh, taunt does override inattentive. But yeah, I we were able to just pile on the deaths on Sniper here. I mean, look at that. 3-7-1. That's exactly what you want to do when you're red team, is you leave that last pick up for a counter. They started night, and that mean, meant that we needed one melee and either Pyro or Ninja for our second pick. It's not over yet. Stay focused. We got uh, one to two games ahead. The so blue team, we ideally want to pick something like Swordsman Knight, Swordsman Fighter, Fighter Knight here. Keep it simple, keep it straightforward, maybe even go... Actually, you know what? Let's ban out Ninja. And that leaves us open for um, melee plus Archer. And I feel like we probably want to look at something like... Uh... I almost wonder if Monk would be better here for Doing B. Because the problem with Fighter on this one is fighter with target changes means that he's going to die a little bit often. I actually like the monk pick here. Let them take fighter. They went sniper. Uh, I, I will play archer into this blind. I feel okay with monk archer against fighter sniper. I won't say I feel super positive about this one, but I think we'll be all right. We just have to hope the monk healing is all right, and unfortunately, it's not going too well so far. I do not know how Xbox lived through that one, and now it's uh, it's your typical two v two run it down mid situation. There's going to be trying to change targets. Xbox got the kill, but just barely. That was a really solid ult from Xbox. Join B had a good shield, but it's running down quick. I can tell you for sure the cooldown on doing on the the monk heal has hurt monk's potential quite a bit. We've got the lead, but it's close. I just don't think they now nah, they don't have time to pull the three kills back. So we're able to take it with a 9-7 victory, and there you go. Xbox yet again winning on Archer. 5-3-4, solid ratio. And I mean, basically just outperformed Yankos, albeit just barely. Um, not necessarily in damage, though. Big difference here. Doin B tanking 22-48 versus D only tanking 16-13. That pretty much tells the whole story right there. We advanced to 10-1, and, and now Mad actually dropped a game to Team Statics. And so, with a three-game lead, we pretty much have locked up number one seed in the playoffs. So we're against Team Statics next. They uh, they like Ninja Fire... I mean, they, they like the melees. Uh, to, to the surprise of no one. So, if they had their way, they would play Swordsman Fighter. That's, that's fine. I mean, at this point, it's 2v2. We know what we're doing. Let's just try to blitzkrieg through the end of the season. No tests or anything like that. And um, just stockpile some money. Don't worry about crafting right this minute. We, we can get there. We just want to blitz through the season, get to our 3v3s, get to semi-pro, and go from there. So we're going we're gonna to leave it as is. We're blue team, so probably looking at a first pick swordsman here. But I, I think that we're gonna we're gonna ban Ninja and see how they respond. They banned Archer, which is very interesting to me. You know what? I'm gonna first pick Knight. Let them go into Swordsman Fighter. They went Sniper. What do I play with Knight to deal with Sniper here? I almost feel like you go Pyro.
You don't, you lose. It, it, it is kind of a bad situation. I'm going to take fighter on this one. And just hope that we can kind of out-tank the damage. Monk is a, a tough play here. We're, we're going to send it. I, I think this is a loss for us, though. We definitely got outpicked. Well, Doinby was able to rush right back and pop Biblio. Okay, well, maybe Doinby is just going to go nuts and destroy Sniper multiple times in a row. Well, uh, can't say I expected that. Um, Doinby going absolutely mad on Fighter right now. Huge shield on Monk. Fighter ult has been popped. Doin B goes down. Xbox will get the kill on Monk. Bibiu got the kill on Knight, and Doin B is target switching, running it down mid. Not gonna get a kill here. But Bibiu shot her ult, or her uh, Q. I, I was gonna say ability out onto the Knight instead of onto Fighter. We're going to win this one, and we definitely had no business winning this one. We were definitely outpicked on this uh, on this fight, but Doinby coming in clutch, doing more damage than Bibiu while taking almost double. It's a pretty phenomenal setup there, and I mean, the, uh, the tanks don't tell the story. You look at Betty here, damage very close to Xbox, tanked more damage and healed more damage, but it really just comes down to Doinby... 5-3-2 and two on Fighter. Did pretty well. But coming in here, I mean, own it. Give it your best shot. We got to come out there and do it again because um, I, I picked poorly. But I definitely like counterpicking better in 2v2. Blue team is honestly kind of difficult for me. If you look at where our, uh, our pick and ban has been... Problematic, it's definitely been more blue side than red side. They banned Swordsman. I want to leave Ninja on the table. Uh, so actually, I feel like we don't even ban a melee here. I will actually ban Monk. I know this gives them a chance to first pick Ninja, which they did. Which now, uh, we go... We're not going to get Night Fighter. So we're probably looking at Archer, which means I want Fighter here. They're going to take Knight. They went Ninja Sniper. The problem is I've run Fighter Knight before and it does zero damage. But it makes it really difficult for them to kill us. I'm going to play Archer into this. It's not a counter pick. But I feel more confident that this will actually do enough damage to win. I feel like Knight Fighter would have just done zero damage. And Doin be literally playing Fighter like it's an assassin and going straight for Betty. The absolute madman. Completely ignoring that Bibiu exists and just going, Oh my god, doing me! He's, he, Lee Sin plays, literally out here playing Assassin Lee Sin. And Xbox with the double kill, that's a bad ult. Very much a waste of an ult here. Kind of bad fighter ult, but uh, you know what? Sniper got a kill. Actual Lee Sin. The, the plays from Doinby this match have been off the chain. But Xbox out here putting down another, you know, 2-1, two, two uh, uh, another 2-1 to one KDA. Thirteen to nine, you got a 7-4 on Xbox, and I mean, look at that. That's how you counter uh, Ninja, is you don't give Ninja a juicy target. Archer can kite effectively enough. Bibi really wasn't able to do too terribly much, and Ninja's a little squishy. We have acquired the Gladiator Helmet, which I believe is Warrior Champion Mastery. We'll definitely go ahead and plop that on. So round 13, we've got, what, two weeks left? Two weeks left, let's blaze through it. 
not even worried about what they play. We know what we play, and that's really what matters at this point. We've got the stats. We're ready for semi-pro. We're going to win the playoffs. And it's not confidence. It's just because the game is made in such a way where you're kind of expected to win amateur, win semi-pro, and then get to pro and kind of just sit there and enjoy the game. You know what? This is going to be a hard match. They've got some stats. They've got some stats. We're starting off on red here. So we're going to base our ban off of what they ban. They banned Pyro. So if they're looking to do some double melee comp here, which I don't know if they're actually that smart. Uh, I feel like I would like to ban out Knight. First pick Swordsman if it's open. What? Um, I'll take Swordsman and you can have Ninja if you want it. Fighter Ice Mage. What? Sniper, Ninja, Archer. I, I... I, I am as confused as you are, uh, Rush. I don't know how I want to play this. This fighter Ice Mage has some good CC, and that actually concerns me with Sniper. I feel like Archer might be okay. And I don't know that Ice Mage is going to be squishy enough for Ninja to get in a lot of kills. Because Ice Mage could just freeze Ninja. I'm going to go Archer. Archer might be too close range to beat Ice. Well, I'm, I'm going to try this. I think you're probably right. We're going to put Xbox on Archer. That's where he's been effective all season. Or all split, I guess I should say. Yeah, Doinby going in and getting absolutely blasted. Okay, so we are, we are going to lose very miserably here. And you can really see that HP nerf on uh, Swordsman in action. <laughs> that was a huge waste of an ult. Xbox ults have been uh, have been off recently. Doinby got off a good ult there. We're keeping it close. We're keeping it closer than I anticipated, but it's gonna be another easy double kill. Doinby's back up, but it's it's too little, too late, and that's gonna be another easy double kill for them. That's gonna give them the three kill lead. We're able to pull one back, and we should get the kill. Nope, nope, Doinby goes down. This this is a loss. I don't think Ice Mage is bannable, but we needed Fighter. We definitely needed Fighter. Honestly, the fact that it still ended up 11-10 is just a testament to our team's stats, but... Uh, Alright, you know what, Luffy, if you're still here, here it is, just for you. You disgusting piece of trash. I'll carry us. <laughs> Coach will help us with the band and pick. They love it. Literally three up the whole way. All right, sure. <laughs> you disgusting piece of trash. All right. Let's, um... Let's ban Swordsman... First pick fighter. Or we won't first pick fighter. We will first pick knight. First pick archer. If we take monk, they're forced onto either ninja or another ranged. Yeah. That's not a good team comp for them. I don't know if this is going to be a win because Priestess heals are pretty decent, but Priestess doesn't do any damage. But it doesn't matter. Oh my god, what even is this? 
What is actually going on? We are 30 seconds in and there has only been a single kill. Our comp does not have any DPS. That is totally fair. But this is actually hilarious. We, we will probably lose this 2-1. Can they tie it at 2-2? They've got a double kill in hand! Oh no! <laughs> they lost! <laughs> Alright, pro tip, never play Knight Monk ever again. The more you know. Alright, what what do the rankings look like? Because we probably need to start a new episode. We safely have a buy all the way until the finals. Um, so why don't we leave things off here for YouTube. We'll be staying live here on Twitch. In the next episode, we're going to play the last game of the season. We're going to play the playoffs. We're going to do the awards ceremony. And we're going to do the off season. And that'll leave us on a good starting point for next time on stream. Where we will probably be taking on Semi-Pro and starting our 3v3s. If you're watching out there on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this in the future. And come check us out live over on Twitch.tv slash Runt9Plays four days a week so that you can enjoy some of the fun with us. But until next time, I'm Runt9, and I will see you later.